I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new video from Extreme Trader. This is the last speaking. This video will be now telling you about the trend lines strategy and why trend lines is the best way to trade Forex that you can ever find. I really found it difficult to explain it because somehow I feel like um, it requires more explanation. It requires more uh, experience in uh, this field and it's not really easy to explain and especially to convince you about why this strategy could be one if it is not the best strategy you can ever find to trade forex now we need to understand something uh, as i have explained before in the past about support and resistance support and resistance these are a permanent level so when we say that we have here a resistance Remember, I'm on the daily chart. This resistance was very strong even in the past. In January 26, 2018. Then again, June 2018, still the resistance is strong. And even March uh, 2019 and even here, April 23rd, 2019, this level of the resistance is still strong. And if we go more to the past, we can see that this resistance is was still a strong resistance even more in the past 2017 uh let's go more to the past we can see it exactly here on the resistance on uh, june 2016 so if we go more and more let me go to the monthly chart to save your time and not this one i believe this is the one so we can see it was a strong support level which has been breaking out and then it is now playing as a resistance level uh, not only that, uh, let's go to another chart, Euro USD, for example. And remember, I'm on the monthly chart. So we are talking now years back. And if we see what happened here, we have a resistance and another attempt of the resistance exactly on the same level. Remember, guys, this was 1997. We are talking about 24 years ago maybe 24 years i'm not sure but we're talking about really long time and this resistance has been broken out by this breakout candle and became a support since 2004 all the way until 2012 it has been broken out and again this resistance is again a resistance level uh, in 2017 so we are talking about 20 years gap here so what's the idea the idea is these levels are permanent now, I believe all of you agree on that, that the support and resistance levels are permanent. But the question, what about trend lines? That is very interesting. Are trend lines are permanent as well or don't they? Let's try. I will draw a trend line from this high here all the way to this. Um, let's make it on this here. Yes, exactly. So I draw a trend line from this high here. To this uh, lower high here so let's see what happened uh, this is this was a trend line back in 1996 and again it was still a trend line on 2003 and even after the breakout here the trend line kept the position as a resistance trend line uh, early 2005 then again 2009 or 10 this uh, this trend line has been broken out by this breakout candle and now it is a support trend line and even 2014 it has been breaking out and kept the position as a resistance trend line from 2014 until end of 2016 and right now today to november uh, coming soon i mean this year this level will be another support trend line meaning as same as the support and the resistance they are permanent also the trend lines they are permanent so the, the the thing here you need to understand now this trend line the very same trend line which i have drawn right front of you if you drag it if you just take it and put it some other places will it also be affect the same way it was effect on this uh, high here let's see i will move it now to this support here check it out the same very support trend line has kept the position as another support trend line exactly on the same level without me changing anything at all let's move to somewhere else i will now move it i will put it here 
guys I swear I did not check or practice this before recording I'm doing it randomly because I know what I'm talking about so I will move it now I will put it on this lower low here like that okay like that let's see what happened again the same level with the same trend line without changing anything it was a support trend line 1997 and again 1998 and then what happened after the breakout it became a support trend line in uh, 2001 or early 2002 that is very interesting now let's move it somewhere else um, I will move it let's say to this uh, low here just move it drag it without changing anything at all interesting look what happened this support trend line after the breakout became or kept the position as a support trend line right here and even right here then we had this bearish breakout and again now it is a resistance trend line meaning the same trend line which I have taken from this point no matter where I put it where which level I place it it is actually still active it is still accurate if you even put it on this high we can see how it was here a resistance trend line and then here after the breakout it became a support trend line uh, it was not really respected on these levels uh, let's be accurate on this level here but here we have it as a support trend line then a resistance trend line and again here a support trend line kept the position as a resist uh, a support trend line then lately 2016 it is still a resistance trend line what I'm trying to tell you or explain to you these trend lines no matter how you draw them they will remain the same forever no matter how you place them let's play now another game I will change the drawing or the way to draw the trend line from this high and I will drag it all the way to this low here to this lower high so now we have this trend line right the same one now move it randomly see what happened check it out I placed it just on this high here and we can see in the past it just work again so this is a sub, uh, resistance trend line has become the new support trend line and here it is another uh, support trend line here as well then uh, it didn't happen again let's uh, place it somewhere else right here I placed it now on this high here we can see that this resistance uh, has uh, kept the position as another resistance and so on let's drag it somewhere else uh, I will put it now randomly uh, here for example check it out even here as a resistance trend line now after the breakout it became a support trend line so the idea is no matter how I draw it it will be active or sorry it will be accurate uh, let's now move to the smaller time frames and let me do something very interesting what I will do is I will draw the trend line from this top here to the other tops no matter what they are so I will draw it from this top here to the other high here and now clone the next one like that and what I will do I will now draw it on this high and I will draw another one on this high and another one on this high and this high as well so let's do it move it all the way here like that now let's clone the next one and move it to this uh, high here I swear guys I just picked these r levels randomly I'm trying to convince you or to tell you how st effective this uh, style of trading is because it's really a, a, I feel like it's a shame that most of the traders they are not aware about how powerful is the trend lines and it really can give you a lot of money and let's move to this level here uh, let's uh, draw another one on this high here on this level so let's have more uh, okay wait a minute like that all right that's enough so the idea here we have drawn all these trend lines from one point the starting was from this top here from one point but the ending or the other point the second point it was randomly on any other high or higher high so by just 
uh, let me see how can, can I have this uh, no hiding okay let, shit. let me just show you guys one second where was this one here okay what I wanted to, t to do actually you know what let me change the color then all right what I want to do is I want to show you that each one of them we can take it and put it randomly on any place and you can see how it will actually work what will work what by I mean work it mean that if we have uh, any resistance trend line here for example this is the trend line if we have any resistance trend line the same very same resistance trend line after the breakout it will become another support trend line or it can actually create another attempt on the same level so let's see this one I will just move it somewhere else I will place it on this low here check this out I will place it on this low look what happened guys this same support trend line has become another resistance trend line and here as well and here as well it kept the position as a resistance trend line and then it became after the breakout another support trend line very interesting right and remember I'm just randomly place it on anywhere let's uh, do something else I will place it right here I started now from this low here and check what, ha uh, check what happened after the breakout this support trend line has become now the resistance trend line then after the breakout it became another support trend line that is quite interesting so th it is working it is really active no matter what I do or no matter what level no matter what the level I'm selecting it is still uh, giving you accurate results to where the support trend line or the resistance trend line is occurring now let's move to uh, randomly to the next one I will just pick uh, this one randomly and let me change the color so it will be easier for us to see it no, um, okay so now this trend line as you can see we started from this high here and we place it on this low here now let's drag it or move it somewhere else I will place it now on this high here right here so we can see the same level it is also still a resistance trend line and in the past it was also another resistance trend line now this level is not so good let me move it now and place it guys on this high here like that so now it is here acting as a resistance trend line and we can see that after the breakout it is now a support trend line and it kept the position as a support trend line now let's move it somewhere else I uh, will move it guys please I know this might be sound it, it might sound boring but please give it the time to let me explain to you why this is so powerful again we have it here as a support trend line after the breakout it became a resistance trend line and another resistance trend line then again after the breakout it is now a support trend line so I believe that my point now has been clear, uh, clear by now that what I'm trying to tell you is these levels are permanent they are not temporary so let me now delete all of these lines so what we are saying here is these trend lines are accurate no matter how we draw them from any point to another point this is how Forex works so now the question how can I use that in my day trading the answer is you need to draw the trend lines ahead and then place it on any high or low based let, let, let me show you let me show you that is sorry my friends I had to stop the recording that day and just now I was uh, able to continue I just reached home now and I want to finish the recording of this video so the last thing <coughs> sorry, the last thing I explained was uh, explaining why the trend lines are so powerful and they are actually working when you draw them from any high to another low as I have explained just drawing the trend line from this high to this high can give you equal results if you draw it from another high to another high so from this high to, the, to this high we have a trend line you can eat you can also drag it like that to this high now instead from uh, another high you can draw it from this high to this high and we can see a really good results 
when this resistance trend line kept the position as a resistance trend line now after the breakout if we have the market reversing we can expect the market to reverse and we can place actually the buy option right here when the market reached this point here now the thing is I want to explain after explaining uh, the reason why these the trend lines are powerful is to explain how we can actually implement it on our day trading so what is the way to use it now remember what we are looking for is always the first attempt after the breakout so when you have a resistance trend line RTL a resistance trend line and you have a trend line like that what you want to do is look for the first attempt so you have to wait for the breakout to happen after this resistance trend line being a breakout by this breakout candle and the market to come down again so this resistance trend line will now become a support trend line so we have to place the buy option right here and hope for the market to actually reverse that is what we are going to do and of course vice versa if we want to place the sell order we have to wait a support resistance trend line a, a, a support a support resistance trend line <laughs> we have to wait for a support trend line like that to be breaking out and then wait for the market to come up again so this support trend line after the breakout now it will become the resistance or the new resistance trend line and here we can actually start selling the market so we ex expect it to go more down let me show you uh, what we had a good opportunity that we have missed actually during uh, before recording this video for example as I told you now if we want to sell we need to look for support trend line so this is a support trend, li trend line I will draw it from this uh, low here to this low here like that all right so again we have now the trend line drawn from this support trend line uh, sorry from this uh, low to this higher low now what you will do is you will simply drag this trend line and just place it for example right here now you need to be logic with your entry because you have a trend line with this uh, shape so you want to actually move it in a way that you are actually close to the current price and by that look at that guys please look how accurate this was I just placed it actually on this support trend line and we had here the breakout as I told you now look what happened the market has indeed reversed exactly on the same point exactly and it gave about six to seven pips almost almost 10 pips it gave of the reversal and of course guess what applying hit and run rules if you enter here with the cell exit with the nearest resistance which is here and actually your trade will be in profit and that is a good scalping uh, that is what I'm talking about make it simple just don't don't confuse yourself now let's see for example if I place it on this uh, we need something uh, of a support trend line has been broken out what we have here is like that we have if we look carefully we have here a small support if you look carefully I don't know if I can zoom and hold on yeah what I'm looking at is actually this tiny support here this support here has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle so it is a good chance when the market coming down here we can actually uh, buy the pair and hopefully the market will actually go up uh, until the nearest resistance and we can get out with uh, some sweet pips I think about four five to six pips of profit that is a way of, of scalping and remember I'm doing it now on the one hour chart imagine doing this on the weekly or daily chart you can actually have really very good results um, let me show you where a good entry could be using this style of trades um, let me just try to apply it here uh, for example we have now the market is going up and now we are high the market now is on high level the trend is going up but I believe now the market actually if we go to the daily chart we are on the resistance 
even four hour chart we are on a resistance so we want to look for sell now what we want to do is clone a support trend line like that and now drag it all the way to a previous support check it out it has already happened look at that I dragged this support trend, uh, trend line which I draw here and I placed it on this support trend line and we can see this support has been breaking out and now when the market went more up the buy or sorry the sell order was very accurate right on this trend line how crazy is that do you, can you imagine how many good shots you can have if you understand if you master this uh, method of using the trend lines really guys you can have very good entries I am just feeling sorry for those who say that, man, this is bullshit. Oh no, you are wasting our time. What is, what the hell is this guy talking about? Trust me, guys. If you know how to handle this, you will be successful in trading. Because no matter what, these trend, li trend lines are actually very accurate. They can give you very good shots. Now, let me show you. What I did was drawing the trend line based from, on from this support to the support now the the question coming here is Salah you are the one who choose the support how about if me as a follower to you I don't choose this one I choose different support for example I choose from this uh, from, from this low here to this low here like that like that is that legit yes let's see now I, I'm, I'm doing something else I am now drawing my support trend line based on these support levels here now if i drag the support trend line am i going to have the same results the answer is yes just drag it also and put it on the same support as i did what do you have same results the same support has been after the breakout became also a resistance let's try something else let's look at another support uh, maybe someone else will come to, to me and tell me but okay Salah I will choose from this low here all the way to this low here and look at what happened just by drawing it it actually worked after the breakout this support trend line after the breakout we have also on the same level the market actually reversing so it's also working even drawing it from another support all right let's go more now let's pick another support randomly um give me a support which one guys i will just pick for example from this low here to this low here like that from this low to this low so these two supports like look what happened actually when you draw that we have here this support trend line has become a resistance trend line then after the breakout it became also another support trend line but anyway let's now try to drag this support trend line and see what will gonna happen same results exactly the same we are still on the same harmony uh, the same support trend uh, the support trend line after the breakout has become the new resistance trend line so what i'm trying to tell you no matter how you draw it no matter how you pick uh, your support lines or resistance uh, levels they are always going to work don't don't be confused don't think too much about it this, this is gonna give you the best entry and by the way this is more powerful than support and resistance why because on the left we have this long week here this long week here and we want to place our cell based on the top of this resistance so you can do like that you can draw your uh, resistance on this level as the resistance level you draw your line on the top of this wick here then you see this breakout candle the bearish breakout candle and then you place your cell actually exactly on this line here but we can see that the market went up more the market has went up here before it actually reversed so the trend line has given me a more accurate entry look at that guys if i draw if i draw it like that what do we have the trend line has given me much more accurate entry which i can rely on to pick my entry point so the, the, the whole idea i'm trying to tell you using the trend line based with the support and resistance and i swear it can give you really good results and you will not believe it 
until you try it now maybe in the next video i will do some more live trades using this style but for the meantime i really would like you especially those who don't believe it please give it a try <laughs> just see yourself how accurate this uh, style in trading and how can it give you so much good results especially very good entries so guys the next video hopefully will be a live trading using this method and until then i hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.